Well, uh, we're going to do uh, question 1.1.4. Um, as you can see, it, the question says 2 to the 2x minus 6, 2x equal to 16. All right, I'm going to write the question here. Uh, the same question, 1.1.4 is 2 to the 2x minus um, 6 times 2x equal to 16. Okay. Um, in order to solve this problem, we can transform it, okay? Because we can notice that um, the unknown is a part of the exponents. So we have like a, um, um, exponential, it's somehow an exponential equation here. So what can we do? Okay. Um, I prefer to write this, to rewrite the same equation this way. I am going to write uh, two to the X, okay, like that. Um, all this to the power of two minus six times two to the x. If I move the 16 over, so I get negative 16 equal to zero. Why am I doing that? Just because um, we know the law of exponent that says uh, a to the n, okay? Uh, all to the power of n is equal to a to the m times n. Let me move this a little bit uh, this side. Okay, now, um, um, in this situation, we, we had like uh, two, to the two, 2 to the 2 x is like 2 to the 2 times x, okay? So this can be written as uh, 2 to the x or 2 to the 2. It's the same thing. We can also write uh, uh, 2 to the 2 to the power of x. It's also correct. But in this situation, uh, writing this way is not really helping us. I prefer to keep it like two to the X or to the power of two. Okay, because uh, I wanted to have like, uh, uh, I want to have like two to the X here and two to the X over there for good reason. Why? Because I'm gonna say uh, let N equal to two to the X. Right, now we're going to write over here, um, Instead of writing two to the x to the power of two, I'm gonna write them because we substitute n. Okay, two to the x by n. The equation will become then uh, n squared, n squared minus six n minus 16 equal to zero. Now we have like a, a trinomial or a quadratic equation. It's easy enough to solve. Now let's do, I'm gonna open a bracket over here and then write n there and then close bracket, write n and then close bracket equal to zero. We're going to do s zero. We're going to write 16 over here, and then we're going to list the factors of 16, okay? In a certain order, preferably, they are like 1 and 16, 2 and 8, um, uh, 4 and 4. Now, in the list of the couple of the, of the factors of 16, there is one couple that will make a sum equal to uh, the middle term, which is uh, uh, negative 6 here. So we can see that. Um, Excuse me, with 1 and 16, we cannot make negative 6. So we cross out neither with 4 and 4. But with 2 and 8, yes, we can if we do 2 minus 8. And you can notice that um, 2 times negative 8 makes exactly negative 16. Because uh, this is negative, uh, over here we have negative 16. So here I'm going to write, then here I'm going to write plus 2, and then I write negative 8. Now we do know that uh, there's a, this property, when we have like a times b equals zero, this implies a equal to zero or b equal to zero. So this will be um, n plus two equal to zero or n minus eight equal to zero. And then we can work it out when we say n uh, equal to negative two or n equal to eight. Now, we cannot stop here because uh, the question was uh, solved for x, okay? We, here we have the solution for n. Now, what can we do? We can now substitute the values or the value of n, okay? Let's, we said, remember here, we really say that uh, n was equal to 2x. Now we can substitute the values. Uh, so this means uh, 2, x equal to negative two, 
And obviously, this is not applicable because uh, NA, because two to the power of X will never be negative, okay? No exponent here will make a negative uh, answer. It will always be positive. So this is not applicable. We stop there. Now, for the other case, we have like uh, uh, two to the X equal to eight. Then this means what? Uh, remember, we can write this to like two to the X equal to eight in, the written, in terms of its prime factor. Eight is like two to the power three. If you're not sure, uh, you do the factor three. It's like eight, you see by two, it's four. By two is two, by two is one. And then we have like two times two times two, which is equal to two to the power of three. Reason why we say over here, uh, two to the power of three. Now that the bases are common, there's a property math. Uh, one of the laws of exponent that says this, if the bases are the same, if you have like a to the n equal to a to the n, this implies that uh, n equal n. So from here, when we had like two to the x equal to two to the three, we can just cross the bases, and then we have uh, x is equal to two three. Thank you.